Also tonight, new developments in the Brittany Drexel case. Her killer's longtime girlfriend arrested. She's now facing federal charges years after the Chai Lai teen's kidnapping and murder. Angel Rouse is accused of lying to the FBI about Brittany Drexel. Good afternoon, I'm Matt Malloy. And I'm Karen Edwards. Voss's boyfriend, Raymond Moody, is serving life in prison after confessing to Drexel's murder. The childlike teenager was kidnapped, raped, and killed while on spring break in Myrtle Beach back in 2009. More than a decade later, in 2022, Raymond Moody confessed to the crime. Now his longtime girlfriend, Angel Voss, is arrested on federal charges related to Drexel's death. After more than a decade of no answers and the disappearance of 17-year-old Brittany Drexel, Raymond Moody confessed to her murder in 2022. Now, as he serves a life sentence, Moody's longtime girlfriend, 56-year-old Angel Cooper Voss, is facing federal charges accused of lying to the FBI about what happened the night of Drexel's death. The FBI has been doing its work to look at some of the forensic stuff and um, the data that they have got to the point where we were very comfortable with going forward with charges. Moody and Voss told investigators they picked Drexel up on the Myrtle Beach Strip to, quote, party. She got into the car and they all went to another town about an hour away to smoke marijuana. That's the last place Drexel's phone pinged. The indictment accuses Voss of lying to the FBI when she told investigators she left the scene to grab keys from another place as Moody raped and strangled Drexel when, in fact, she traveled in a different direction and for a different purpose. I would say there are some material details regarding Ms. Laws that we would like to know. That obviously she misrepresented to the FBI back in 2022. Voss is also accused of taking Drexel's cell phone and getting rid of it and then lying about its whereabouts and falsely telling a special agent that Drexel had voluntarily joined Moody and Voss when the teen was actually abducted. Ultimately, obviously we want a conviction, but we also want to know everything that happened in Myrtle Beach in 2009, exactly as it happened. In federal court today, Voss's bond was set at $10,000 and she was released of her own recognizance.